no, 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 no. Driving this car makes me feel as if I want to wear a cat suit. No, 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 no. And this car should really be kept in a cave infested with bats rather than a garage. It may look like a car from a very famous film and TV series, but from some angles, it looks like a Volvo estate. Based upon its little sister, the Z3 convertible, the M Coupe's unusual and refreshing styling will leave people in no doubt that you're definitely not one of the crowd. This car is brilliant fun to drive. It's like a, a boy car. You feel it under your foot. It's quite, you've got to give it quite a boot when you're low down, when you're driving quite slowly. Give it a kick, but you don't mind because, you know, it responds, it shoots off. It's got that lovely gurgle, really nice roar. I think the steering wheel is too big though. I feel like I'm driving a big truck. And also, the steering is really, really light. So even though you feel like you're heading to a corner really fast, you turn the wheel and it responds, you know, really, really just too light and too quick. What else do we like about it? It's like a Z3, but with a roof on. Now with the roof on, it makes the chassis much stiffer. So the ride and the handling is much, much better. We like that. And, don't ask me why, but it's got four exhausts. Not one, two, three, but four. That means it's a boy car. Which girl in her right mind would drive around in the car with four exhausts? But saying that, it's good fun. And you know, it moves and it makes a great noise. Who gives a damn about four exhausts? It really makes you want to drive like a hooligan. It's really fast and furious. It makes you want to put your foot on the accelerator and press it really hard. This tends to annoy lots of people who are on the road with you. I don't know what it is about this car, but other people don't like it. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they don't like the look of it. I don't know, but you overtake someone and you find they're shaking their fist at you and things like that. Who knows? Strangely enough, you've got to be between five foot eight and five foot nine to drive this car successfully. If you're any taller than that, you can't get the seat far enough back and your knee gets trapped against the, uh, the panel in here. And if you're any smaller like me, when you depress the clutch, clutch pedal, your heel's actually off the floor, which is really quite uncomfortable. Ah, oh, the perfect British summer's day. To be honest, how many times a year can you actually use a convertible car in this country? Not many. That's why this car is so practical. It's also got loads of boot space in the back and it's a right monster. It's a sports car that's practical and it's perfect for the British summer weekend away. See you later.